Namaste and welcome. My name is Lilius Fallen and welcome to yoga class. In the yoga tradition, ways to modify yoga postures play an important role in the practice of asanas. Modifying a posture can make it more difficult. It can add variety and keeps your practice interesting. But more important, modifying yoga postures can make them easier. If you've not exercised for a while and perhaps feel a little out of shape and maybe apprehensive about starting, it's good to remember that more difficult yoga postures are not necessarily better for you. There's no need to strain yourself by trying to achieve a postures like oh, forward bends or spinal twists, which in the early stages is physically difficult. Instead, give yourself permission to modify the pose and then do them with conscious alignment within your own body limits and you will achieve the same effects. This gradually opens the way to yoga postures that are otherwise too demanding. I really want you to feel comfortable and safe coming to this yoga class. And do remember that the joy is in the journey. So let us begin and I just would like you to think when you come to class to use some props to modify some of your yoga poses. And most people have the following in their living room. So I'm going to stand up and just, if you have none of these things, by the time I finish talking, you might run out and get some. What I'm going to use is a chair, which we all have, and a pillow that's firm, a book, doesn't have to be this tall, but it's, uh, this is a dictionary, and maybe a, oh, a hand towel or a, a dish towel, something like that would be just fine. So let us begin by, I'm going to use this dictionary and put it on the floor. Find a novel, quick. <laughs> Don't read it, but join me. And the first posture that I'm going to do is to just get this point across is that, well, hamstrings, tight hamstrings, really uh, do not help to get us into that flow of, po of the postures that we want to achieve and that feeling of flow within a pose. So let's work now with stiff and tight hamstrings in this warm-up, which is a wood chopper. Stand up, all right, and put your feet, place your feet about three feet apart. Bend your knees, because this is the first modification for tight hamstrings. Inhale, raise both arms above your head. Stretch up. All right, now fold forward. Exhaling as you go. The knees are easy. And you can touch something, you can put, put your hand on, a, on the chair seat or on the floor and just let your head drop. And now to come up, inhaling, raise both arms above your head, stretch upwards. Now clasp your hands together and exhale and bring your arms between your le the knees, inhale, up you go. Exhale, bend the knees, good, working with Hamstrings that are a little tight in the beginning, pause. And exhaling last time. And then inhaling, coming back up. And then let the arms just float down, float down, and float down. Bring your feet together with just a little added toes, heels, toes, heels. Sort of getting our feet. How about just lifting the heels? and lowering them so we stretch the toes and the feet because we're going to stand on this book. A forward bend can be made easier and it can be made much more difficult. First, let's just begin by making the, the, uh, this posture easier. If you'll just stand and put the heels, elevate the heels just a few inches. Have them about hip width apart if you can and then stand tall. Breastbone is lifted and the skull is being pulled away from the neck so there's a nice long neck. And now ease the knees slightly. Let's come forward with a, a rounded back as you come down. And now let the hands go over the knees and just come forward. Hopefully you're quite comfortable, you know, where the book touches your foot. You can, you could even put a little blanket under there if it was cutting but it should be quite comfortable 
as you bend forward. Good, breathing comfortably. And now just to stretch the hamstrings, the back of the legs, exhale with one leg first. So straighten it and then relax it. And then exhaling the opposite leg, you straighten it slightly and then bend it. And if you can just remember too, to try to keep your sitting bones right over the heels, not lean back too far. But this book will really help that problem. Now, raise the arms out to your side and inhaling, come right up to a standing position and then lowering the arms down. Good. Now, let's make it a little bit more difficult. We'll at least do one time like that, putting the, the book underneath the ball of the foot. But if you're new today, uh, stand at the, put it underneath your heels, won't you? And coming forward, forward and forward. Just to give you the example that you, with a little modification, you can make this posture more difficult with this edition of the book and let your head hang. Now the level two people, not to lock your knees, but you'll feel that added stretch, I'm sure, with the elevation of the front of the foot. And now come up to a standing position. Again, breath flows in, stretch up, and exhaling, lowering the arms down. Stand on the book again, and walk forward, elevate your heels, and we'll do a chair pose. This chair pose is for strengthening the thighs. It would be just like see, sitting yourself down right to your chair. Good, that's it. As you're gonna sit down, the knees go, try not to have the knees go over your toes and raise both arms above your head. And then stand. Exhaling this time, going down as if that you are sitting in a chair. Pause and then back up. This chair pose is made by modifying it, by lifting the heels, makes it much easier to do, safer on your knees and ankles, and then back up to standing, lowering the arms down. Very good. I'm going to leave that there because I might use it, in, and if not this class, another class. Now, a dish towel, this is my hand towel actually, this is for the chest area, for these tight, uh, you know, the tight uh, skeletal area of your shoulders and your rib cage and the back of, the, of your spine. Clasp your hands behind you and then holding on to your towel about hip width apart, slowly raising the towel and your arms back as in one section. And you can feel the areas that it's stretching, that tight area of the chest, but it's not so much that you're uh, hurting your elbows. So lift comfortably high, inhaling, lift the chin, and then exhaling, relax. Oh boy, doesn't that feel wonderful? And you haven't strained, you haven't put too much strain on your elbows, and you're working with the chest area that really does need a little TLC of all this tightness that we all carry uh, in the chest and in the shoulder area. So I also might use this, so let me just put that here. Tight hamstrings, put my friend this beautiful firm pillow down, tight hamstrings restrict a lot of our twisting that we do. So to begin with, we can warm up by putting one foot on a chair. All right, are you with me? One foot on a chair. Keep your balance. And just put, this is my left leg, so I have my right hand on the left knee. And just turn. So you're twisting, you're spiraling the spine to the left. Pause. And then release. And we'll do this on the other side. You, when you do it in just this way, you sort of eliminate all the hamstring problems and can do a twist very, very nicely. This is a warm-up for something we're going to do seated. Right knee is bent, left hand on top of right knee, and then put the right hand on your hip if you'd like and turn to the right. Here you're just turning the navel right, ribs right, and the very last is the head. Pause, and then back to center. Good, very easy, and sort of fun. 
Now for stiffness in your ankles and your feet, and you're going to sit in front of me, and hopefully for all the classes to come, sit on this firm pillow or some firm pillow in your living room, wherever you are. Here you are, and I love to sit like this. Now you can sit cross-ankled, but I like with one foot in front of the other. And just notice I keep the natural curves of my spine, the hips are elevated, natural curves of my spine, and I can just pause here. And just place your hands to the earth. Close your eyes. It's a wonderful place for meditation. It, uh, is to, when you find your place of meditation, to, is to sit on a pillow and then pause. The hips are elevated, spine is long. And exhaling, drop your chin to your throat. Inhale, lift your chin, and then right ear, right shoulder. Good, back to your center. And left ear, left. And let this right shoulder pull down so you have a wonderful feeling of lengthening in the neck. And you're still very comfortable because we're seated upright on this pillow. And then back to your center. Ah, fine. Using then this pillow, we can go right into a hurdler's stretch. And when done correctly, it shouldn't be a problem. However, if you had knees that had, have an injury, and you know that you shouldn't bend your knees in certain ways, well, maybe omit this one. But a hurdler's stretch, if I elevate my hips, get them level, stretch your right leg out. This will be my right leg and then just tuck the left knee under. Everything at this point should be very comfortable. To create a little bit more space inside the knee, I sometimes I'll take my hand and I'll hold the calf. You might try, do the same. And then just pull the fibers of the calf to the side. And this creates a little more space in the knees. And here you are in your hurdler stretch. And if you'd like, Perhaps something around the ball of the foot. And you can fold forward. But I would suggest that you ease your knee slightly, especially in the beginning, as you come forward. And then release. Raise the arms above your head. Stretch upwards. And then lower the arms down. Is your right hip... I'm not... In fact, move your pillow over just a little bit so that that right hip is really well supported. Right. Let's try that again. Inhale, raise the arms up and exhale, folding forward. And you can add a little bit of help here in the back of the foot, but this would be more for a level two. And then coming up, stretch upwards, breath in, energy in, and then lowering the arms down. And let's do your hero's stretch on the opposite side. Take care as you move from one into the other. The pillow should be underneath your left hip. My right leg, excuse me, my left leg is stretched out in front and my right knee is tucked under. Everything is comfortable. All right, so here we are. Inhaling, raise the arms above your head. Stretch upwards. Now, if you've just begun, ease this front knee as you fold forward. Just come to sweet discomfort. Pause, inhale, stretch the arms above the head. This will be then the last time as you exhale and fold forward. And level two, if you want to put the, a towel around the back of the foot, do so. And just relax there for a moment. Not to pain, but what I call sweet discomfort. All right. And then coming back up to Virasana, your hero's pose. Come onto your knees, onto the knees, and then put your hands into the calf like I'm doing here. I have my hands, my thumb is around the calf. And as you sit down, just pull the fibers of the calf to the sides. And here you are, you're seated, and you're in Virasana, your hero's pose. And sit like a hero just for a moment with the hands beneath the belly, long back. Notice how comfortable it is with the hips elevated. It's very quieting. Some people use this as a meditative posture. Personally, I don't like to hold this for too long because I think it is not good for the circulation to hold too long. But I'm very comfortable for 30 seconds or so. All right, come out of it by, not twisting, just come up. And I'm going to sit on the, the pillow again. 
Anterior pose is a posture that is for the whole body. It's strengthening for the whole body. But when the beginning, when the arms are weak, and maybe you have a little uh, stiffness in the back of your neck, we want to ease into this posture carefully. So you could sit on a book or the softness of this firm pillow and place the hands behind you. Just sort of lean back. And now you're going to lift your breastbone and squeeze the shoulder blades together. This should feel very comfortable, it's very energizing, and then release. And again, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Look at your toes. Now you're going to lift the hips up so that you form a straight line. Now the head goes back, not to drop back, but feel that the skull is pulling away from the neck. Good, and then sit down. How is that? Let's just massage the hands because that was sort of a surprise for your hands and, and for your wrists. Let's try this one more time, the anterior pose. Hands behind you. All right, hands squeeze the shoulder blades. Now inhale, in, inhale first. Exhaling, lift the hips, keep looking at the toes. The head then forms a straight line with the spine, pause, and then sit down and return to the quiet. Good, just pausing here. And just, there's a lovely stillness, you see, after each posture. So get in touch with that. Nice, like the pause between breaths. Take a breath in now. Exhale out completely with a Fine. Inhale now through both nostrils. And exhaling out and out and out. Each class will have something new and a little different about breathing. Today, just place the hands on the belly area. One hand on the belly area will be fine, and the other hand right just relaxed on your knee. Close your eyes and just get in touch with the belly rising expanding and contracting with each breath. To become aware of the fact that, that the breathing happens and begins, slow and mellow breathing, happens down low. And we get the awareness down low in the belly, below the navel area. We'll stay out of the chest, which is stressful breathing. So, Exhale your air out completely, and exhale out completely. Just pull the belly muscle in slightly, and then let it soften, and then fill the lungs right up to the collarbone. It's your rhythm, not at mine. Exhaling smoothly, out and out and out. One more time, inhaling softly, smoothly, with a little practice, it gets easier. There's a pause and then exhale smoothly. And at the end of your out breath, pull the belly muscle in slightly. Good. And then relax all efforts. That's the beginning of a complete breath. But the thought for the day is, if you feel stressful or uptight, come down low with your breathing. All right, let's continue now with a spinal twist, taking care of our hamstrings. And we'll do this by lifting the hips up and just sitting with the knees bent. Just sitting with the knees bent and just holding on for a moment. Your feet are flat to the floor. And with your right hand, hold. Now, we're going to twist to the left. So grab a hold of your knees and just, just gently pull yourself. Pull the navel left, ribs left. Fine. And then look over your shoulder. And then back to center. And let's try that one more time. And we'll go to the left, sitting tall, because the pillow has helped you to sit tall. And this time we're going to raise the left arm up, place the left arm to the floor. You could even put the fingertips on top of a book also, if you wished. And this time, straighten the right leg, and we'll twist slowly now. It's a spiraling movement, slowly, not yanking. Navel left, ribs left, last shoulder, and then the head pause. And then release. Yes, and then come back to center. 
And if you just hold on to your knees for a moment and close your eyes, you'll feel a, a quiet, like an echo after we do twists. It's a little misleading calling it a twist because it really is a spiraling. Now, the, let's just start with your knees bent, all right? So sitting tall and holding on to the knees nice and firmly. You're going to turn to the right now. And just place your right hand to the floor and just first turning, let the head be very last. Look at me just for a second. There. Notice, you see, I, my whole body is turned to the right, but the head has nothing to do with it. It's very relaxed as it sits upon this neck and shoulder. So if we turn, you're ready to go now into the twist. You're not leaning back. You're in good alignment as you straighten your left leg. If you want to add on a little more, bring the arm across. This is my left arm across. And just place the left elbow against the outside of the right thigh. And the hand is not flopping around. The fingertips are up to the ceiling. Inhaling, lift and lengthen. On the exhalation, navel right. Move in pieces, ribs right. Last is the shoulder, and then the head. Pause, and then release. Release. Very nice. And then pause to feel that after echo of quietness that, that the twists produce within. Close your eyes. I like putting my hands to the floor, letting the shoulders drop, and just be still. Breathe now with that complete breath. Exhaling out, 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 out. Pulling the belly muscle in. And then inhaling, let the belly muscle soften. Ribs, good filling. Pause, exhaling, slow from the top, then the middle. And to help yourself, just pull the belly muscle in at the end. And this will be the last time, softening. Mid ribs, filling. Very nice. Remember, it takes practice. Pause. Exhaling out, keep the lips closed, fine, fine, and then pulling in at the very end. Good. It's, the twists are just perfect to lead us into relaxation. And for the modifying of the relaxation, you could possibly put your pillow beneath or something beneath the knees. Have the back long, a long back, right here, so that this arch of my spine is pressed to the earth and then perhaps pu putting a little something behind the back of my head so the spine is long and that stiffness of the back of the neck doesn't affect my relaxation pose. The hollow body relaxation is an effective technique for dissolving accumulated stress and tension. Feet well apart arms away from the rib cage. Breathe in through both nostrils and then a long sigh out and let the whole body go limp. Now bring your attention to your breathing and just watch its flow through the nostrils. The rhythm of your breath is comfortable and even Imagine that your breath becomes a luminous, crystal pure mist. And this pure mist completely fills the head. As you breathe out, release the image that the inside of your head is dense or solid. Again, imagine the inside of your head open and spacious, filled with luminous, crystal, pure mist. Hold this picture and continue with your easy and rhythmical breathing. Now focus your attention into your throat and neck and take a moment to swallow. Imagine that the space within your neck is now filling with luminous crystal mist, filled with vibration and sensation.
Now breathe awareness into each part of your body. Crystal pure mist into your hands, hollow arms, shoulders, chest, abdomen, pelvis and seat muscle, filling hollow legs with luminous mist, streaming into your feet and toes. No need to analyze. Just let the thoughts dissolve in the crystal mist. And now rest and experience the whole body as spacious, clear, hollow. Still with eyes closed, become aware of the space around you. And then open your eyes softly. Stretch. Yawn. Oh. And then place the top hand to the floor and then come up to a seated position. I hope that you feel calm and revitalized and carry this calmness and this vitality on with you into the action of your day. Until the next time, namaste.